The Cowboys offense has been on an absolute tear since the midway point of the NFL season. A lot of guys have had a hand in the offense being one of the best in the league. CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Dak Prescott. But one guy continues to stand out week after week, and that's second year man, Jake Ferguson. In the win over the Philadelphia Eagles, Ferguson made a number of great plays. And it feels like he continues to put the pieces together as the season rolls on. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. The Cowboys have found themselves a star at the tight end position. Let's get into it. So far this season, Jake Ferguson has 51 catches for 570 yards and 5 touchdowns. At his position, he is the 11th most targeted guy, has the 10th most catches, 9th most receiving yards, and 3rd most touchdowns. In as a backup rookie tight end, Ferguson caught just 19 total passes for 174 yards and two scores. Quite the leap in production. But even in those limited opportunities, he made the most of it and you could tell there was something just a little bit different. Although he did show flashes in his rookie year, people were still nervous about him being this team's tight end one this year. And I could understand why, because in the NFL, tight ends usually take more than a year or two to really develop and be that number one guy. The position just doesn't breed plug and play starters. Tight ends don't usually come out of college and put up massive numbers. It usually takes a couple of years to really get solid production. So for Ferguson to come in and be the guy in year two as a fourth round pick, is nothing short of impressive. To kind of put it into perspective of what Ferguson has been able to do, Dalton Schultz's best year as a Cowboy came in 2021 when he caught 78 passes for 808 yards. But that was Dalton Schultz's fourth year in the league. We're talking about Jake Ferguson who didn't even catch 20 passes being in his second year in the league and he's already doing this. But as we all know, there's more to it than just putting up a solid box score. At the beginning of the year, I thought that the Cowboys offense was lacking something that both Dak and Ferguson were really good at attacking the seam. As the year has gone on, Ferguson has been killing teams down the middle of the field. His ability to stretch the seam has added a new dynamic to this offense that I don't think they had with Dalton Schultz and they were lacking to start this year. And these plays that Ferguson is hitting on aren't just little five to seven yard hitch routes. They are down the field 25, 30 yard pop plays. And that's all that I've wanted from a Cowboys tight end for what feels like forever. Be a downfield threat. Make the linebackers run with him down the field and then make tough contested catches. The best tight ends in the league all have something in common. Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, etc., etc. They have great run after catch ability. It's what separates the good from the great. And it's actually really hard to come by at the tight end position. But for Ferguson, he does have that run after catch ability and we saw it last night. Against the Eagles, Ferguson had five total catches for 72 yards. Of those 72 yards, 51 of them came from yards after the catch. Something cool that Next Gen Stats does is yards after catch over expected. Using data points from thousands of NFL games, situations, defenses, defender positioning, how many yards should you get once you catch the ball? For Ferguson, he had 22 yards after catch over expected, which means he should have been tackled but he stayed on his feet and gained more yards, which is what you want to see. And it's the sign of a pretty elite tight end. Yards after the catch feels like stealing in the National Football League. And if you want a dominant offense, you got to be able to do it. Now, before the year started, I made this video. And here are my stat predictions that I had for Ferguson coming into this year. Because I really did believe that he would take a major step forward and pretty much wrap up the tight end one position. Here's a clip of my prediction from that video. Is targeted 89 times, catching 66 passes for 759 yards and seven touchdowns. That is 11.5 yards per reception and a dominant year that people take notice of in 2023. Taking my stack predictions, let's look at ESPN's projected. Ferguson is on pace for 67 catches on 97 targets for 745 yards and 7 touchdowns. So as it stands right now, it looks like I'm going to get pretty dang close at the end of the year. Although, even at the time of making that video, I didn't realize how hot of a take it really was because Ferguson is even outplaying my expectations. So what do you guys think about Jake Ferguson? Let me know down below in the comments. Is he the next best tight end 
in Dallas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later this week, back with another video. I love you all. Bye.